Health authorities here have reaffirmed their hopes for constructive talks with medical practitioners who, for their part, have shared plans to make a public address about their stance later this week. Our e &E has the latest. In Monday's briefing, the government maintained that it is still open for talks, but once again highlighted the need to increase the medical school quota by 2,000 places. If alternative solutions backed by scientific evidence and logical reasoning are presented, the government is open for discussion. On Sunday, the Korean Medical Association's Emergency Committee described last week's meeting with President Yoon seok yeol as a meaningful encounter. The Emergency Response Committee assesses the meeting between the President and Park Dan, head of the Korean Intern and Resident Association, as meaningful. The Korean Medical Association reiterates its support for the doctors and students, urging for a unified voice. During the announcement, he also requested for the Ministry of Education to halt the ongoing process related to the quota increase. He also said the Korea Medical Association, professors, trainee doctors and medical students will speak with a collective voice from now on and will be holding a joint press conference within this week. Meanwhile, some universities have decided to resume classes that had been postponed due to medical students' applications for leave of absence and refusal to attend classes. Gyeongbuk National University and Jeonbuk National University will resume classes starting from Monday, while Catholic University and Jeonnam National University will resume classes on the 15th. Based on the regulation that requires at least 30 weeks of lectures annually, the university said they could not delay the academic schedule any farther. Lee Eun-hee, Arirang News.